hello guys in this video we'll be adding a second filter to our expert and we're going to put in the parabolic SAR indicator if we go to our MT4 chart and we put that on charts on that trend parabolic SAR put on your chart and see now you see that when the market is trending down the SAR tends to be at the top and when it's trending up it tends to be at the bottom up and down we're going to add another condition that says if it's going to buy then this must be below and if it's going to sell this must be above now it's very similar to working with the moving average we just bring in a heading like before so we can demarcate the parameters separate the parameters so here I'll say SAR and then the parameters for SAR we have the step and we have the maximum both are doubles values with decimal place okay so here we want to say input double step I think 0 0.02 and the input double maximum equal to 0 0.2 let's go back and confirm okay step maximum so next we want to get this value the SAR value and like the moving average the SAR only has one value so when whether it's at the top the value is 1.27567 you can see it on the left and you can also see it on the chart or whether it's at the bottom it's the same value it is, you get the value from the same place I'll show you the essence of this of this place in the next in the next video so for now we're also getting a single value so here we'll come down because SAR is also a default fun, a default indicator will also get a default function to re request SAR values and it's called the ISAR, ISAR, ISAR function. This function returns the value of the SAR indicator. So here we go symbol just like before and the current time frame and then our step value and our maximum value. Then the shift we should use one which is the previous candle previous candle price as previous candle value previously closed candle value so we want to say if the ask is above SAR val and if the bid is below SAR val that's the only time we want to trade so let's test again and see if this condition has been applied I go to my tester I'm testing every tick remember and enable visual mode so you can see what's happening you can use any dates just make sure just decide the dates on your own okay here we can see trades buys sells buys let's allow it to finish and see what our strategy is Okay, at the end we can see when the price is above the MA and also when the price is above the SAR you get buy trades okay let's use 0 for SAR because if I use 1 for SAR then what, what I mean is this if I use 1 here for SAR then this value will be used for this candle and this value will be used for this candle so what we should use is the current value for the current candle so let's go with 0 for SAR and compile that way we only use the current value for the current candle it won't change much but just for correction okay let's go back to the previous chart now you can see it's using this value for this candle so the value is above the SAR so it buys and when it's below it sells and so on so 
three conditions have to be met now the even number the SAR and the moving average so if you come here it's all to be almost the same thing the result is not so good so let's zoom in here okay now that's that and let's add one more filter to create more order I want to only take a trade when we are on a new candle so we only want to allow one trade on each candle not up to six up to five here up to ten here whatever's happened we want to reduce that to one trade per candle now we'll create a variable called trade trade on the outside it's a global variable and then every time we have a new candle let's do this okay let's write a variable double close price now every time the close price of the previous candle changes that means the candle has changed we want to say that we have a new candle and trades are now allowed so if close price is not equal to close of one one which is the previous candle close price then we say trade is equal to one meaning allow trades and then close price is equal to close of one that way this this won't evaluate as true twice it will only evaluate as true at once and then update itself so on the second time it evaluates on the same candle it will return false because at this point they are both equal so when new candle opens this becomes different from this and it evaluates true again updates here updates here so here i want to say and trade is equal to one meaning we are on a new candle and trade equal to equal to one we are on a new candle so when a trade is sent successfully we want to update trade to zero that means further trades will not be allowed till trade becomes one again that's when a new candle opens trade becomes one again and it's used and when it's used it's sent to zero and it won't be used twice till another candle opens so let's run that quickly here we now have one trade on each candle you can check that one by one to be sure here you can see it's one trade one trade one trade you don't have 10 trades on a single candle anymore so this makes your trading more orderly and allows allows trades to be entered when a fresh condition comes that's when when the ma value for this candle has been finalized and the parabolic sar has a has a final position and you take your trade if it's wrong then you wait for a new candle before you take another trade and not on the same candle if you don't understand anything from this video please leave a message in the comment section i'll get back to you thanks for watching this video see you in the next one